Thank you so much for taking the time to be with us today, Greg. Thank you, great to be here with you. You know, the YMCA's, all the locations, uh, the whole program offers so much to families. Can you share with us where you are right now, how you've gone through the last few months and what we can look forward to? So of course the last uh, year has been a time of uh, change and uh, lots of different uh, obstacles as well as different needs from the community. So uh, last year when we started with lockdowns and close downs, et cetera, uh, the Y looked at the community and asked the question, what is it that the community needs from us now? And what can we do to be helpful? So one of the important things that's relevant to this conversation was we started to offer childcare and distant learning. Kids and the parents who were the first responders, they needed to go to work, school wasn't in session. Where do they take their kids? They couldn't take them to you know, the front lines to do their job. So we took our centers, which needed to be closed for health and wellness purposes and converted many of them uh, to places where we took care of the kids during the day to help them with their studies and then provide those enrichment activities in this fun and safe environment. So all of these protocols related to COVID and uh, what you need to do for physical distancing and you know, being outdoors as much as you can, we helped co-create some of those things uh, here in Hawaii because we were one of the few organizations that kept on serving uh, kids uh, throughout this period of time. And that, that extended through the summer, last summer. We offered our day camps and summer programs. And then of course, through the fall and to today, we've been operating throughout and have figured out how to adapt our practices to be safe and welcoming. And that's what we're really good at. And you know, this program is focusing on youth sports. Mm -hmm and activities in the community. The Y has always provided athletic and enrichment activities. Can you share with us a little bit more of what you even have now going on? We've been a thought leader in sports as part of our international 177 year history. Most specifically, we invented the games of basketball and volleyball. And we were one of the first organizations to do organized swim lessons in pools. So we continue these traditions of sports here at our YMCA in Honolulu, where we've operated for 152 years. We see sports, however, in a very broad context, mm -hmm. a place where youth or adults can come together to actively participate in organized activities that help people to become or stay active, give them confidence in their abilities, learn skills, and hopefully continue to practice and play these sports throughout their lives. Our philosophy around youth sports has been around encouragement, promotion of healthy competition, rather than rivalry. Uh, we see the value of participation over winning. We see team building as well as individual development. We help create positive self-image and mutual respect for others. We know that and believe that sports should be fun and engaging ways to build character through that practice of our core why values of honesty, respect, and responsibility. We see that sports in a broad sense is really crucial as part of any youth development. That can also be great opportunities to learn and practice communication skills, work as a team, grow their social skills and their passions. Sports can also provide a place to learn respect for authority and rules, and instill a sense of responsibility. Sports really help build friendships, confidence, enhance those motor skills, critical thinking, decision-making, boosting self-worth. As you can see, you might look at a simple game of soccer and say they're kicking a ball around. The reality is, is it's much deeper and really thoughtful from a youth development perspective. And you also involve, uh, or you invite uh, community organizations. So we invite others, not only our own team, but we invite other professionals uh, who may be experts in hula, as an example, or martial arts, or other disciplines where maybe we don't have expertise. And you are the go-to location. <laughs> For sure. We have lots of locations uh, throughout Oahu 
uh, to serve so many communities. You know, the why in terms of what we do do, we run that gamut, martial arts, judo, karate, as well as surf and hula, and then some more of the, what you think is traditional sports. We continue to bring back more of these sports as space becomes available. And right now, one of the challenges, and I know that you wanna talk a little bit about, you know, what are the things that we're encountering as sports uh, starts coming back is space and, and utilization, that distancing that we need to have, especially in the indoors. The second is uh, really around consumer perception and behavior. There's been so many conversations about what's open, what's closed, what you can do, what you can't do, what's safe, what's not safe. And consumers and, and parents have to wade through all of that and understand, A, what are the opportunities? Where do I find them? And B, do I feel safe with them? Are my kids going to be safe? Where am I going to send them? Who do I trust? And so now we're changing that paradigm and that messaging to be something else that says you can do things safely. Thank you so much for your time and your enthusiasm and your belief in children. Thank you so much and uh, look forward to uh, engaging so many parents and kids as we move forward. You've just had the opportunity to meet Greg Weibel, who is president and CEO of YMCA Honolulu.